Good evening, folks. Good evening, family. It's part three for the word for today. Part three is promised. The word for today for December 18, 2019. It's 835 on the dot, 835 p.m. in sunny Ocala, Florida. So this is the word for today, part three, December 18, 2019. I'm going to go ahead and read out of the, my King James Version Bible tonight. So on December 17, 2019, at 849 p.m., I'm reading the word of God. And tonight we're going to talk about the branch of righteousness. The branch of righteousness. This is found in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verses 1 through 8. Key verses are 1 through 4 and verse 6. So let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verses 1 through 8. Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord God of Israel against the shepherds who feed my people. You have scattered my flock, driven them away, and not attended to them. Behold, I will attend to you for the evil of your doing, says the Lord. But I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I have driven them, and bring them back back to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. I will set up shepherds over them who will feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, nor shall they be lacking, says the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will raise to David a branch of righteousness, a king shall reign and prosper, and execute judgment and righteousness in all in, in righteousness in the earth. In his days Judah will be saved, and Israel will dwell, will dwell safely. Now this is his name by which he will be called, the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that they shall no longer say, as the Lord lives, who brought up the children of Israel from the land of Egypt, but as the Lord lives, who brought up and led the descendants of the house of Israel from the north country and from all the countries where I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. Okay, the next entry on my journal, 8.53 p.m. on December 17, 2019. Now we're going to talk about false prophets and empty oracles. False prophets and empty oracles. This is found in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verses 9 through 40. Key verses I found were 14 through 16. 19, 21 through 22, 25 through 29, and 32 through 34. So let's go once more back to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verses 9 through 40. So just bear with me on. It's a bit lengthy. My heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man and like a man who is wine, whom, whom wine has overcome. Because of the Lord and because of his holy words, for the land is full of adulterers. For because of a curse, the land mourns. The pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up. Their course of life is evil, and their mind is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane. Yes, in my house I have found their wickedness, says the Lord. Therefore their way shall be to them like slippery ways. In the darkness they shall be driven on and fall on them. For I will bring disaster on them the year of their punishment, says the Lord. And I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied by Baal and caused my people to Israel to err. Also, I've seen a horrible thing in the prophets of Jerusalem. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They also strengthen the hands of evildoers, so that no one turns back from his wickedness. All of them are like Sodom to me, and are inhabitants like Gomorrah. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with wormwood, and make them drink the water of gall. For from the prophets of Jerusalem, profaneness has gone out into all the land. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Do not listen to the words of the prophets who prophesy to you. They make you worthless. They speak a vision of their own heart. Not from the mouth of the Lord. They continually say to those who despise me, The Lord has said, You shall have peace. And to everyone who walks according to the dictates of his own heart, they say, No evil shall come upon you. For who has stood in the counsel of the Lord and perceived and heard his word? Who has marked his word and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord has gone forth in fury. A violent whirlwind. It will fall violently on the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord will not turn back until he has executed and performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days you will understand it perfectly. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they would have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. Am I a God near at hand, says the Lord, and not a God afar off? Can anyone hide himself in secret places, so I shall not see him, says the Lord? Do not fill heaven and earth, says the Lord. 
I have heard what the prophets have said, who prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long will this be in the heart of the prophets who prophesy lies? Indeed, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, who try to make my people forget my name by their dreams, which everyone tells his neighbor, as the fathers forgot my name for Baal. The prophet who has a dream, let him tell a dream. And he who has my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the shaft to the wheat, says the Lord? Is not my word like a fire, says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, says the Lord, who steal my words, every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, says the Lord, who use their tongues and say, he says, Behold, I am against those who prophesy false dreams, says the Lord, and tell them and cause my people to err by their lies and by their recklessness. Yet I do not send them or command them, Therefore they shall not profit this people at all, says the Lord. So when these people, or the prophet, or the priest ask you, saying, What is the oracle of the Lord? You shall say to them, What oracle? I will even forsake you, says the Lord. And as for the prophet, and the priest, and the people who say, The oracle of the Lord, I will even punish that man in his house. Thus every one of you shall say to his neighbor, and every one to his brother, What has the Lord answered? And what has the Lord spoken? And the oracle of the Lord you shall mention no more. For every man's word will be his oracle. For ye have perverted the words of the living God, the Lord of hosts, our God. Thus you shall say to the prophet, What has the Lord answered you? And what has the Lord spoken? But since you say the oracle of the Lord, therefore thus says the Lord, because you say this word, the oracle of the Lord, and I have sent you, saying, Do not say the oracle of the Lord. Therefore, behold, I, even I, will utterly forget you and forsake you, and the city that I gave you and your fathers, and will cast you out of my presence. And I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you, and a perpetual shame, which shall not be forgotten. Okay, folks and family, at 9 p.m. sharp on December 17, 2019, the sign of the two baskets of figs. I'm pretty sure you've heard this numerous times before. The sign of the two baskets of figs. This is found in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 24, verses 1 through 10. Jeremiah 24, verses 1-10. through 10, The sign of two baskets of figs. The Lord showed me, and there were two baskets of figs sent before the temple of the Lord after Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had carried away captive Jeconiah, Jecon, Jeconiah, Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and the princes of Judah with the craftsmen and smiths from Jerusalem, and had brought to them Babylon. One basket had very good figs, like the figs that are first ripe, and the other basket had very bad figs, which could not be eaten, they were so bad. Then the Lord said to me, What do you see, Jeremiah? And I said, Figs, the good figs, very good, and the bad, very bad, which cannot be eaten, they are so bad. Again the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Like these good figs, so I will acknowledge those who carried away captive from Judah, whom I have sent out this place for their own good, into the lands of the Chaldeans. For I will set my eyes on them for good, and I will bring them back to this land, I will build them and not pull them down. I will plant them and not pluck them up. Then I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return to me with their whole heart. And as the bad figs which cannot be eaten, they are so bad, surely thus says the Lord, so I will give up Zedekiah, the king of Judah. His princes, the residue of Jerusalem, remain in this land, and those who dwell in the land of Egypt. I will deliver them to the trouble into all the kingdoms of the earth, for their harm, to be a reproach, and a byword, a taunt, and a curse, in all places where I shall drive them. And I will send the sword, the famine, and the pestilence among them, till they are consumed from the land that I gave to them and their fathers. Okay, on December 18th, this is this morning, 849. Uh, this thought occurred to me, John 1.1. 1, 1. So let's go, to verse, let's go to the book of John, chapter 1, verse 1. This thought came to my mind, this, this, this one verse. John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Okay, I was reading a Coffee News, a Coffee News publication that comes out in Ocala. It comes out every week. I think it's like every Tuesday or Thursday or Monday, somewhere, Monday or Tuesday. They could come out with a Coffee News. I was looking in one of the articles, and I had this as a Christmas special, so at 3.52 p.m. I was looking through the Coffee News publication. And for unto you is born this day in the city of David 
a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. This is Coffee News. It's a publication that comes out every week. I think it's published in Ocala. I think every Tuesday or Wednesday. So let's look up uh, Luke 2.11, where this is where it comes from. So let's look at chapter uh, Luke chapter 2, verse 11 on this. Luke 2 and 11, For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Okay, folks and family, thank you very much for your 10 minutes of time. This is the Word for Day, Part 3, for December 18, 2019. The Word for Today, Part 3, December 18, 2019. Thank you very much for your time today, this evening. Hope you all have a blessed Thursday, Friday, Saturday weekend. Stay safe. God bless you all and everything you do. God loves you and so do I. Remember, Jesus is Christ is coming very soon. Get ready for his return. This is your day of decision, your decision making. Your day of salvation and a day of reckoning. Okay, folks, take care of yourselves. Have a blessed weekend. I love you all very much and I'll see you on the next video upload. Bye-bye for now. I love you.